What's up, y'all? It's your girl, the Nail Magician, and today we'll be doing a birthday freestyle. I got some new glitters and powders, and she told me I can do whatever with them. So I'm going for a simple but glam, you know, some simplicity with a little sprinkle of Right now, glass. I'm just pushing the cuticles back, but let's get into this set. During every set, I always start with the eponychium first. I push them back, exposing the dead skin on the cuticles, which is the surface of the nails. This step is very important, even if it seems as if it's not. This is the first step of the top three steps that prevents lifting and the key to long lasting nails. Once it is completed, I go in with the medium sanding band and remove the shine off the natural nails so we can give the tips something to stick to. Y'all already know. Cause if you ain't giving the tips nothing to stick to where they gonna hold on to and they gonna be falling off then the mobile's gonna be back in two days talk about their nails swap off and talk about you and how the nails didn't last so just to be on the safe side make sure you're pushing the cuticles back and removing the shine off the natural nails our next step with gluing the tips down, I use the rocket method where I place the tips on and I place them downward at the free edge. Then I ease my way upward and then back downward. A way I check to make sure I did it correctly is by watching the glue as it covers the nail well fully. So I'm gonna place the tip at the free edge and then I'm gonna rock up and I'm gonna come back down. And I also check side to side of the nails just to make sure everything is on tack. And in this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to place the nail tip at the free edge and then I'm going to rock my way up and back down. And I'm going to, I kind of do rock the nail at the end just to make sure it's on for sure. But I don't do it like rough. It's pretty gentle. It's just to make sure the nail is in tight. And I'm going to do the same for all the rest of the nails as well. As you can see, my hands, they are going in a rocking motion. So the video may be moving too fast for you to see it, but you can see the consistency in what I'm doing and how I'm gluing the tips down. And once this step is completed, I do take a quick exam at the nails just to make sure all the nails are scraped and everything looks good. Then I'll ask the client what's her desired shape and length. She wanted to go for long but not extra long. So I'm going in with my nail clipper and I think we got like six magnets on here. I got this trick off of TikTok um, where they place the magnets on the back of the clipper and it evens all the nails up and get everything down to the exact length but we ain't got nothing to worry about we ain't gotta go back in and cut nothing because everything is even and on point period and we'll just be doing regular square nails you guys so i keep them as they is and i go in and shape them with my 8080 grit nail files and i got these tips off amazon i can leave the link in the bio below and y'all I like to shape the nails before I apply the acrylic because I feel like it helps with catching the acrylic if it gets too runny and also at the end once the set is completed I won't have to do much fouling. And my last step to prepping you guys is cutting the eponychium. It's the dead skin right on top of the cuticle. I saved this part for last because I don't want to miss and cut her and when something ends up inside of it. It's just a safety hazard. And then I take a quick glimpse at the nails to make sure everything looks good. And then I go in and I prime the nails and now it's time to lay the acrylic. I'll be using Young Nails XXX White and Speed Bubblegum Pink with a touch of glitter I got from Nail House. Okay, y'all, because it's her 21st birthday, I'm going for a simplicity look. You know, grown lady, but I'm a baddie giving classy and sassy, period. I'm not really sure how I was going to do this set, you guys, so I won't coach y'all through it like that. But I'll just let y'all know my little technique that I do when I am doing nails. I don't ever know what I'm gonna do on a freestyle literally until we start laying acrylic. So what I do first is I try to get some nails to match in a set. Most of the time I either get my ring finger or my middle finger to match my thumb. 
and then I go off of that. I wanted to do some glitter, but I didn't want to put it on the pinky finger because we do that a lot. So I just went and put it on the middle finger and then the rest is to come. And when I'm doing ombre, you guys, I go in and I encapsulate it with my clear acrylic because I feel like that will give me a better apex instead of trying to pile the acrylic on top of each other, losing the ombre design. On the pinky nail, we'll just be going with all white. And on the corner finger, we will be doing a marble nail. And with my marble, you guys, I go in with some um, dirty Sprite. I don't remember where I got it from, but it's basically just like some effective glitter that gives the nail an effect when you move it side to side. And I love that. And this is how the nails turned out, you guys. Let me know if it's giving simplicity. You know, grown woman, but I'm still a baddie. Don't ever get it confused, because girl, I'm still classy. Period. Them nails is real sassy. Let me know in the comments below. And if you're down with the tribe, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.